Hey guys, welcome to another video about my electric bike. I uh, just thought I'd uh, make another update since uh, my last video is over a year old now. But I uh, just figured I'd make another one, so here we go. Um, nothing has really changed a hell of a lot on my bike. Uh, just a few minor additions or changes. But uh, the main issue that I wanted to report, sorry for the shaking is here, is uh, uh, sometime last year I developed an issue with my throttle um, uh, that ended up uh, being caused by the uh, wiring to the hall sensors inside the hub motor. Uh, it took a lot of digging around to figure out exactly what the cause was, but uh, with a few uh, email exchanges and troubleshooting type of thing, um, we figured it out. and. Uh, it ended up being the fact that the easy kit that I bought was apparently part of a bad batch for uh, cold solder joints on the wires that uh, lead to the hall sensors inside the motor. So as a result, my uh, throttle began acting up to the point where it would uh, stop working while I was in motion, which is kind of pointless. It'll de defeat the purpose of having an electric kit. but. In any case, um, I ended up uh, fixing it, but I had to tear apart the uh, hub motor to do it. But it's actually really simple. Um, all you really have to do is uh, re-solder the wires onto the uh, little circuit board that's inside the motor, and you're good to go. So I'll uh, explain that a little further uh, with a few photos that I can put up just so it makes more sense. But uh, that's pretty much it. I've added a little speaker holder to this bike so that uh, I can pop in my uh, Bluetooth speaker that I use while I'm at work so I can have uh, music going while I'm riding around so that's about as far as pimping the thing out I guess uh, other than that I just cleaned up some of the wiring going from the front to the back with some wire loom so that it looks a bit cleaner um, other than that, that's pretty much it, so I'll uh, do a quick overview of the whole bike and I'll get to those uh, photos explaining what I did to fix my hall sensor wires in case anyone else out there has the same issue and uh, hopefully get you all fixed up. So, here we go. Okay, so this is pretty much the way the bike is set up for now. I'm always look changing things up, but this is how it's staying for the time being um, if you watch some of my previous videos you can see that I had like mounts here for like flashlights and whatnot but ever since I put the actual headlight on there don't need these anymore so covered up the holes with just some tape nothing too fancy but it works here you can see the speaker holder that I use it's uh, just like a drawer organizer mesh thing I uh, cut it down and mounted it to the top of the, I guess, the forks with uh, some uh, reflector mounts that I had. So this stays here. It is removable if I want it to be, so it's not a permanent addition. It does not interfere with pedaling. Uh, my knees come until about there, so it's still got clearance. Um, back here, nothing too different. Just the same old usual business. Got the... Uh, battery for my horn is in here which I covered up with uh, well the wiring anyway is covered up with the uh, loom right now and uh, the, there's more wire loom down here and follows the up to the front just uh, it, it looks a bit cleaner I think instead of having just a whole mess of wires different colors and whatnot going down the whole thing this is obviously still like a big bundle of wires I can't really get rid of this but well it technically I could but I don't really have the patience to cut these down to make them smaller and that'll probably just end up causing more problems later but whatever um, you can see I have a kickstand for this thing yeah not the traditional kickstand because this frame is really screwy for putting kickstands on it so I ended up ordering this thing on eBay it came from China so it's cheap but it's functional. Um, it basically acts like a, just like I guess like a motorcycle type of kickstand or whatever so that it just keeps the whole bike upright 
but yeah, it's not pretty, but it works. So, and up here is the hub motor. Now, a few uh, details about the uh, repair that I had to do. All yeah, I had to really do is take the screws off this uh, cover, pop the cover off, which is easier said than done. But uh, once that's off, then you have full access to the circuit board, which is inside there. It's about that big. You'll see in the photos. But uh, all you really have to do is, if you have this problem with the throttle, and if it does end up being these wires, all you got to do is re-solder the wires onto the little points, which can be a bit of a pain in the ass if you don't have a steady hand. But it's not really overly complicated, so... I'll uh, see if I can do some explanation with the photos so that I can help you guys out if you happen to run into this problem. Alrighty, so in this photo you can see uh, once you open up the hub motor you will uh, find this little circuit board and uh, these are the five hall sensor wires. Um, there's a glob of glue sitting on top of them and you can kind of see how it's sort of more uh, clear looking on the right half rather than the left half so that indicates that the glue has detached itself from the board and unfortunately pulled some of the wires off along with it. Now uh, the way to really fix this as easily as possible is to just pull all of that glue off and uh, it may or may not end up pulling more of the wires off the uh, circuit board in the process but that's perfectly fine. All you got to do is clean that up so that you have access to all the solder joints and make sure they're all nice and clean once you're done. And that should be it for fixing everything. So let's uh, move on to the next photo so that you can see what I'm talking about. Alright, here you can see that I've taken the glue off of the wires and uh, exposed the uh, joints and you can see that the two on the right the uh, red and yellow wires are no longer connected so that was the source of my problem with my throttle not working properly so if you have this problem where the throttle seems to not work when it should or if it cuts out while you're in motion um, this will probably be the easiest thing to check first because if you have one of the kits that have this um, I guess defective board then uh, this will be the easiest way to like uh, find out if this is it so all you got to do pop the uh, cover of the hub motor off and then uh, check this metal junction with all the hull sensor wires and see how they look and I'll show you how it looks in the next photo that those two are disconnected and here you can see how the uh, red and yellow wires are no longer connected to the board and you can also see how small those little um, solder joints actually are. So you need a really steady hand to re-solder these on properly without getting solder all over the place and screwing the connections up. But it is doable. I did it. And my hand's not exactly known to be very steady. So it is a pretty simple fix as long as you have patience. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So once you get all the wires re-soldered onto the joints, and uh, you can put some hot glue or something on top of everything to keep it in place if you want to. And then just pop the cover back on the home motor, put the wheel back on, plug it in, and you're good to go. So that's pretty much it for what I did to fix this. So there you go. Okay, so now that the explanations are out of the way, I thought I'd show off my yes speaker that I use. Um, it is Bluetooth, so as soon as I turn it on, it'll automatically connect with my iPod. So I just turn it on, plop it in here. It's already connected, actually, so... Um, how low will this show up? This thing can't focus worth a crap, but... Hang on. Here we go. You can see Bluetooth icon is up there, so... Connected with Bluetooth, I can put this thing anywhere. I usually just stuff it in my pocket. And then uh, to actually start the music, I just hit the middle button on the speaker and it stays in here. It does bounce around a little bit, so I usually have a little bungee cord just wrapping around the front just to keep it in place. But it's still pretty sturdy, so it's 
not going to go anywhere. But uh, other than that, the bike is still pretty much the same as before. Um, no real differences here, but uh, since I repaired the uh, wiring, the uh, kit works just as good as new. And uh, since this is technically the fourth um, season, I guess, for the use of the kit, since I originally installed this in uh, early 2011, so using it throughout 2011 and then 12, 13, and now in 14, so this is the fourth year and over 4,000 kilometers that I've put on this thing. I have no idea what that is in miles, I'm sorry, but I work in kilometers. But uh, that's still pretty decent. I've uh, saved a lot of money on tanks of gas thanks to this thing, so it's definitely come in handy, so... There you have it, that's my electric bike using the easy conversion kit, still kicking. Alright, so that's pretty much it, um, thanks for watching everything, and uh, just wanted to point out, um, Easy ended up fixing the issue with the uh, small solder joints and everything for uh, the hall wires. Um, they ended up redesigning that board and made the spots for the wires more spread out and a, a lot bigger so that uh, this problem wouldn't come up so from my research i uh, figured that uh, the kits in question with this problem that might happen were uh, one of the early batches i guess sometime in early 2011 or maybe late 2010 i'm not sure but um i'm not exactly sure when they redesigned the board to fix this but um if you open up your hub motor and find that the circuit board does not look like mine then it's probably the updated one so your issue may lie elsewhere if you have this problem but um, if your circuit board looks like mine then that's very likely the culprit for the problem so I just wanted to throw that one out there and uh, once again thanks for watching everything and uh, I'll see you out there maybe